Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome in. It's that day and it is really early. In case anyone was doubting what time we're really leaving for the plane. Look, it's 3.58 in the morning. There comes my tired, lagging mom. We're on the way to Vegas, woo. Actually, we're on the way to the airport first. Step one. That's what we're dealing with right now. That hopefully won't get delayed. Security. Can't film past this, but it's a little busy this morning. A little bit. So it's a little after six in the morning back at the airport. And um, we should get to Vegas around 8.30. We were scared we are gonna be a little delayed because of lightning. Um, it was really bad. If you saw earlier in the video just a minute ago, the lightning was like the worst I've seen it in a while. In fact, Star and Keith's uh, video was super, del or uh, their, uh, their plane was super delayed out to Vegas because of uh, the plane they were taking came from Tampa to Pittsburgh and then out. So their, their whole thing was delayed like four hours waiting on the plane to leave Tampa because the storms here were just so bad. So we should be in Vegas about 8.30 local time there. Um, check in, we're already pre-checked in so we should get our room and get rolling quick. Get something to drink, get something to eat, get to the pool, get to the strip, meet up with a couple people, get registered for open. Get everything done and relax. Today's a relaxing day once we land. I'll take a nap at some point, but no sleep last night, been up all night. And uh, so I'll see you guys next time in Vegas. I'll see you guys there. So they overbooked the flight by 20 people. 20, I don't know if you guys can see, but look, that's all the people waiting to get on the Vegas flight. It's overbooked by 20 people and no one would volunteer for the travel voucher. So now they're gonna start booting people. So if it ain't the lightning, it's the overbooking. How do you overbook a plane by 20 people? Like, isn't there software? It seems very simple to me. A high tech company can say, we have 150 seats, we sold 150 tickets. Somebody in the airline industry care to comment and explain to me how this happens? We may end up getting booted from this flight. I don't know when the next flight comes out, but fingers crossed. I'll see you guys next time in Vegas. We made it. <laughs> live from Las Vegas, not actually live, but here live and in person in Las Vegas. Let me show you guys this view out of our room. Here's our room. Let me show you guys a little bit of our room. And then that's our view down to the strip. We're at the far end of the strip here. That's down the other end, that's MGM. And then you guys can probably see like New York, New York and Circus Circus in the back. And there's Mandalay Bay, of course, there's the iconic building. And then you can see uh, McCarran Airport. That's where you fly in in the background in the mountains. So that's our view. Down there's like valet and taxi cab parking. Here's our room, it's a mess. Don't, um, don't mind it. It's a very nice room though, very nice. I rounded up everyone. Sid's here, say hi Sid. You guys know Sid, she's been sort of in my videos. Sid can say hi anytime she's ready. Hi. Hi, and Keith, and mom and dad, and this is a limo to get pizza because I'm starving. Wait, who goes, who gets a limo for one mile? Because 35 bucks for a limo sounds baller to me. Where are I going with my uh, You know what, and that's worth me not walking. So, in case anybody wants to know, I will pay $35 to not walk one mile. Oh. All right, first meal, lunch, I'm starving. This is Star's idea, it better be good, or it's Star's fault. Star, it's your fault if it's no good. I like the sign. <laughs> so, this is legit the size of the pizza at this ridiculous place. Look, this is my phone, just to give you size reference. Thank you. Hold on, I'm gonna Taking a walking tour back up the strip. We just had lunch, those giant pizzas, and I had two margaritas. Liquor count, two margaritas. Check out these tornadoes in tubes. Look at these purple ones going crazy. Check these out. These are the coolest damn things ever. Look at this. The wall of absolute madness, goodness, deliciousness. Look at every color, M&M. Look at all the pretty colors. It even says dream in color. 
Look at all the m and they still keep going and going and going and going. That is ridiculous. How's that for a wine picker, wine cabinet? So this is Las Vegas Aces dinner spot restaurant. You can see it. They're not open right now, it's early. But that's their wine collection and they have like a picker machine that grabs the bottle and brings it down. That's impressive. Las Vegas Aces. Film Casey, film Casey. <laughs> with breakfast because I'm a little hungover, not a lot, just a little, and some bottomless mimosas from this place called like Seabreeze Cafe, I think it's called. Um, 
So I'm gonna get some hand steak and eggs. You'll see it in a minute. I've been craving it. I wanted it. It looks good. And uh, then we're gonna get our cabana. We got our cabana at 11 a.m. So we're gonna eat. We're gonna go to the room and get ready for the cabana. And I'm gonna get a video up for you guys. And then uh, we're gonna head down to the cabana. We'll get some great video, live video, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. We'll see you in there. When you drink a lot in Vegas, this is what you eat for breakfast the next morning. And then you ruin it by drinking more of these. The cigarettes are sad in my face. <laughs> it is. So we're handling all of the alcohol and then we're just replenishing it. <laughs> Bottomless mimosa. It's like strawberry and orange and tropical. Look at this ham steak. It's phenomenal. I already took a bite of it. Alright, here we go. Time to get the cabana. Beach Club Villa in there. Alright, welcome into the cabana. Let me show you guys around. This is our cabana for the day. So we got our own couch. We got our own private bathroom. It looks like a bathroom, in case anybody cares. But we don't have to wait in line for it. We've got these couches right here. Keith's hanging out. We got TVs all the way around. We got TVs. More TVs. Mom's hanging out. We got a stripper pole. Mom, you're sitting on the stripper pole. Please don't. YouTube appropriate. We got a little mini bar with all the sodas and waters and our actual bar, food. And then we moved all this glass to open this up to the outside, which is crazy because the air conditioning didn't work very well anyways. This is our view off the thing. Hi, Melissa. The, uh, the pool got evacuated because there's a crazy looking dark cloud and lightning. And then next in line, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and then everyone recognized her. I'm getting wet now. Hi. And then if you haven't gone over to her YouTube channel, any one of those YouTube channels, by the way, you can come over to Beth. I'm going to link them all down below for everybody. This is awesome. She's sitting. This is a shower. We're about to get a real shower. This is an outdoor, look, outdoor shower. It's got the shower head, see this? Three of them. And then we've got this cool rock tile, disco air <laughs> couch seat that you can rinse off and shower on. And so then here's our view over the edge. So this is like the kind of side pool, right as you come in, this is like a little private pool. The main wave pool is over here. They're all empty because it's lightning, of course. And then, Taco Shack, it's drizzling right now, I feel it. And then we're upstairs on this little private deck. There goes my dad who got burned today. Two of the most famous casinos in Vegas, old school Vegas, Binion's. Oh, there go the zip liners. I should do it. And the golden nugget right there. This is uh, Fremont Street, original Vegas, old school, original Vegas. There's the plaza outside of uh, uh. Fremont. And there's a look down the entire Fremont. All right, so this is the third crazy vehicle we've rented this week. We're going to we're going to Mandalay in the in the limo. Check it out. Look at this. I'll give credit where credit's due. Jason gets credit for this. Let's see what everybody's doing. Let's see who we have inside the limo. Oh, it's Jason's wifey. Like and they're electric. Tesla, Tesla is one of the two electric. She's the one who's doing it. Look at who it all is. It's Kate and Sid and Bill and Dave and Jason's wife. It's Jeff. Oh, like, look at the lighting. How much difference it makes when the coils have been cleaned clean. Oh, like a picture. Make six critical adjustments. Your air conditioner is going to love you. Just one hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Hey, good morning everybody. Day two at eBay Open, day three in Vegas. It's Wednesday. Today is the 25th of July, 2018. So let's go inside the conference hall. Today we're going to get to see most of the people that we've been messaging with and looking forward to see. Everyone you guys are looking forward to see. Let's go inside. Let's get some cool video and say hi to everyone and show you some of what the inside of Open actually looks like in case you've never attended one. 
Oh my God, are you are you Allie? Are you Allie Roots? <laughs> How are you? Are you guys Ryan? We were literally just talking about. I was just talking about you. Too. I saw Ryan yesterday, but you were like way off. Um, I'm such a big fan of you guys. Like expert. I mean, who is it? Right. General session. Day two open. Transform our customer experience. And you specifically heard from Scott that we need to shift our marketplace to make it a more modern marketplace in order to meet the high expectations of today's consumer. We have a responsibility to take care of the platform. That we're going to bring up three different eBay leaders to the stage, and each of them is going to talk about what they are doing along with their teams to power this transformation. You're going to hear from Susie Deer. All right, so here's our main expo ballroom hall. This is where all the vendors will be. This is where lunch is served. This is where you can talk to all the different companies, and so they've got some fancy balloons blowing around, which is pretty cool. Um, look, who I, look who I'm with. Does anybody recognize either of these guys? Anybody? Ten brownie points if anybody shirt. does. Shirt, well, he doesn't recognize himself typically or where he's at, so we got him a shirt. You are here in case he gets lost in Vegas. And just in case. So and record, this is. I tried to buy the shirt, but. Yeah, he he tried. And and for the record, I'm guessing that shirt may need to go over here by the end of the night. Yes. Yes. Say say hi, people. Guys, what's going on? Wade here. Jason here. Jason, you guys know Oklahoma, thrifty trader. Uh, he's Oregon? Oregon? Oregon. What town are you in? Are you in Salem? Actually, Beaverton. Beaverton, Oregon. Yeah, yeah. And this guy's Wade. You guys, well, he doesn't need an introduction. Yeah. Um, nice. we're filming. Are you filming me filming you? <laughs> I was, two seconds ago, I was like, okay, I'm gonna let him do the introduction to <laughs> and I'm gonna film him. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so we're just walking around this fancy expo hall here. We're gonna go check out. If there's anything of note or importance, I will, uh, I will show everybody and turn the camera on, so. Let's go walk around. So sometimes when you're at lunch, you have to creep up very, very carefully. You see the elusive, the very rare, in their natural habitat, the very elusive and rare. We're elusive and rare. Katie and Vicky. We got to approach very, very carefully. <laughs> Hey, good morning guys, it's Thursday. Today's the day of the party, last day of the conference, and I'm feeling a little bit bad. <clears throat> so we went out to Fremont Street with Katie Zoberberg and Robin and Vicky and Lindsey Holland joined us. Thank you, Lindsey. And <clears throat> of course, um, uh, Megan Reed was out there with Lindy and Kate and Sydney were both there. And quite a few other people, Jason, Decent, everybody was there and they made me feel not good. So we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna go up to the conference for the last day, and then um, <clears throat> we will be with you guys soon. <clears throat> hey, what's up, everybody? This is inside of the conference room. Yep, sits here with me. Hi. Hi. And so everyone wanted to see like the big room. I walked around. That'll be in part of the video. I don't know what order any of these clips are going in, but when you come to eBay Open, if you've never been or if you're coming next year, this is like right when you walk in the main door. I'll show you. So you come in like that door, and they got these cool fancy floating balloons. Excuse my voice, it was a long night. And then all around this whole area is like vendors, like PayPal, and Fruition, and Six Pit, and all that stuff. They're set up in like those booths. And then the middle, which is right behind me there, where you see that thing that says pop-ups, they do exactly that, like little mini pop-up shows and things like that. And then all the way in the back, way past that sign, is where they serve lunch. I'll video a little bit of lunch later. So, what do you think? This is her first time. What do you amazing. think? Amazing. It's amazing. Been a blast. What's, blast. what's the best part besides me? Just networking with people, like meeting people, like meeting everybody online. That who'd we who'd we just see? Cindy. Cindy. How does everyone else know her? Amazing taste store. Amazing taste, and on Instagram, amazing taste chick, right? I think, I think so. I think chick chick on Instagram and store on eBay yeah. and Facebook. Anyways, hi Cindy, if you're watching this, hi Cindy. Um, everywhere that you walk, you run into people, especially if you walk around with me. It's tough. 
We don't make a lot of progress when we walk. But anyways, that's what you do. You walk around and then out inside of the actual conference center, like when you walk out those doors, all the way up and down the hallways as it kind of goes in like a square, is smaller rooms where you do like your one-on-ones, your workshops, where they have like maybe 50 people. And then the ballroom is around, I think it's, is it that way? Anyways, the, uh, yeah. the main ballroom is where they do the general sessions, it's where the CEO talks, and Bob, and that's where I talked last year, and so that's got the big stage. So that's kind of the whole layout, and then when this ends, when you have lunch and it ends, whenever you're ready to leave, you just stroll out, and then you walk back to the hotel, and you can go do whatever you want to do. I think you might know the person I'm hanging What's out up? with right here. Mr. Rakin himself, the man, the myth, the legend. Las Vegas. Where are we at? Where are we sitting right now? We are in the Mandalay Bay, and out, inside it's about, I don't know, 65. Outside it's probably about 112. 165. <laughs> No, we were just hanging out. We're inside the conference. They'd show them a little bit. We're actually in the convention center here in Mandalay. And, uh, Beautiful. It is. It's this is a nice event center. There you go. Come back over. Oh, they were back. Okay, so um, <laughs> we got to do one of those little like, hey, yeah. So yeah, we're just hanging out. One of the best parts, we were just talking to Sid, and Steve, tell people how important it is. Just walking down the hall right now, Steve's sitting here on the couch. <laughs> best part is everywhere you walk, there's somebody to talk to. Somebody to hang out with. So, how is your it's been, networking? It's event? been great, just picking people's brains. I mean, I've been like interviewing so many people. Yeah, I just right. interviewed a guy who, he's full time. All he sells is Disney products, Disney pins, Ooh. Disney toys, Disney everything. He loves it so much. He moved to Orlando, and he just kills it. Magic key holder. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I know him. <laughs> yeah, I know him. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a local guy to me. He lives like 45 minutes away from me. Yeah. And, uh, we're gonna actually get dinner and hang out when we get back. Awesome. So yeah, that guy's awesome. So that's Super the, cool. The coolest thing about being here, everywhere you walk, <laughs> is some legendary guy right, like this dude. Right so, there. <laughs> but uh, tonight's the party. Can yeah. You be there. Of course. Reagan's gonna be there. We're gonna video for you guys. Somebody will video. It won't be me because I'll be incapable of videoing. But. We'll get a lot more of uh, Rakin. She's got it. We'll get Rakin on the dance floor. Yeah. Later. Oh yeah. So I'll be doing something crazy. Yeah. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this video because I'm gonna clip it all together for you. Steve will make the final cut. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And uh, me and Steve are gonna do an interview later, so that'll be another video you can look forward to. Hundred thousand views after that. Minimum. Yeah. That's what we're going for. Yeah. So make sure when you go check out the Rakin interview from later, when I get it up, we need a hundred thousand views. If it's not at a hundred thousand, just keep refreshing. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for your time, buddy. Appreciate it. It's good to see you, man. I'll see you guys later. All right. Peace. All right, you guys, so Wade hooked us up. Wade Wade hooked us up. And he's wearing his ramen, rocking the ramen. Look at Wade, man, balling out like a baller. Hey, man, I, I had to take care of Casey. What's up, I buddy? Take care of Rockstar. Yeah. Tell, right, tell him, look look at the ramen. Give, it, give, us, give, us, give us the guns. They call me Super Soup. We call him Soupy Soup? Soupy Soup. All right, well, let's right. go get souped. Get in there, get in there. Inside of uh, Wade's little party animal bus. Wade, Wade is showing up. Look at these, these mannequins Wade's showing up. Look at that. Look at that. So, look at this line. I'm going to go to the front because I deserve it. <laughs> look at this line. It goes all the way up to that building.
MGM and this is CSI. How many times have we passed this and never actually gone in? At least like a hundred times. And so we have somebody that's even more excited than any of us who's been waiting and telling me for six months that there's only one thing she wants to do in Vegas. Here you are. Tell us again how excited you are. I am geeking out! <laughs> Woo! Tell us how excited you are. <laughs> this is this is what happens when you go to the desert in Vegas for a few days. This is how this is how you look after you've stunned out in the sun for a while. I feel like this. Poolside. Actually it's CSI Miami's sugar episode. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Excuse my voice, this is what a week in Vegas will do for you. As you can see, still my last uh, day, this is Saturday, our flight doesn't leave till 11 p.m. tonight, so we are just kind of hanging out. Um, it's MJ in the front lobby of, uh, of Manalee Bay. You just saw my parents just strolled into the camera shot. I didn't even see them. Anyways, I want to give you guys an update. Uh, I'll upload this video. We only did one live show from the uh, hotel because the live video was not the best. I know a few people did get some good live videos. We didn't have good luck with the Wi-Fi. So um, I didn't really try to do live, but I recorded hundreds of clips that I will get up for you on Monday. Um, we don't get until really early Sunday because you know the time change. So Sunday morning and then I'm gonna sleep and pack packages and all that stuff. But um, <clears throat> we did get good answers from eBay Open. We got some bad answers from eBay Open. We'll talk about all that. We'll go over everything. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update video. Nothing special in this one. Uh, make sure you comment down below about questions that you had. Um, I have most of the questions from everyone, but if you had some questions, I can go ahead and include them, uh, the answers, in the next video on Monday for you guys. It's going to be two videos. It's going to be part of like just talking about open and the questions and answers and what we learned. And then the other video will be uh, like a vlog showing you guys around Vegas and just showing you the fun stuff. And uh, in fact, I can show you a couple things right now. This is the main lobby area. When you come to Mandalay, you check in right there. And so just behind it, you guys can see, you know, like the fountains. And this is where you would walk. You, you go down there and you walk. And then you walk all the way up and out there is the pool area. You can kind of see it, the whole pool area back there. Um, but more of it will be in the other video. So that's, uh, there's the lobby. So that's uh, mainly Mandalay Bay. Anyways, we gotta go kill like six or seven hours before we go to the airport. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Not have alcohol, that's what we're not gonna do. Um, but we might go wander the strip, we might go shopping, we might grab, I don't know, something. We already had breakfast, so we'll see. I'll see you guys next time. I appreciate y'all coming along. I appreciate you being here. If you were here at eBay Open, if you weren't at eBay Open, then make sure you come out next year. Never been to Vegas. It will take its toll on you, you can hear. It's the best voice I got, so I'm really sorry. That's why I didn't do more videos, but I have tons, tons of clips to put together. You guys will enjoy it. I'll see you next time, thanks so much. All right, since we're stuck in Vegas for one more night, we decided to make the most of it. What's up, Kate? We went to, oh, we went to this place called Dick's Last Resort. Eat, drink, and laugh. It's in the Excalibur. And they give you these fancy hats. Can you guys see what Kate says? I love my cucumber. And then I have one. I don't know if you guys can read it. I got it. Can you guys read that? That's probably not. Anyways, I super recommend coming here. The food was good, the drinks were good, and Dick is cool. It's called Dick's Last Resort inside the Excalibur. Shame on Las Vegas. And everyone gets hats inside of Dick's. See, everyone gets hats. Everyone gets hats. There's the sign for it. There you go. All right, it's Monday night late. We're finally at the airport. Finally leaving Las Vegas a week later. Security. And uh, we're finally gonna go home, I think. Finally. All right, so the fact that we're even leaving Vegas tonight is thanks to Spirit, who was able to accommodate us to get us out of here at 11.30 p.m. tonight. They checked our bags, they paid for our bags. Thank you, Spirit. No thanks to Frontier for canceling on us three days in a row. Thanks to Spirit Airlines for getting us home. It's gonna be early, early in the morning, like 10, 11 a.m. Tampa time by the time we get there, but you know what? 
better late than never, as they say. So thanks to everyone in Vegas that uh, invited us into their homes, Katie Zoberberg and Vicki and Sarah and Jonathan and everybody who gave us a chance to stay with them. We appreciate it. We didn't take you up on the offer, but next time we're back out here, we may not book a hotel. We may just crash with you guys. So we'll see you next time.